Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the Jeep's Footage Garage. Uh, today I'm going to be installing the cold case radiator with electric fans. Here it is right here. That we got for the Chevelle. Um, as you guys can see, we, we got uh, pretty far. We uh, finished installing the accessory stuff. I already put the serpentine belt on here. Um, the power steering stuff, pressure and return hoses, the new transmission lines, the one wire alternator. So this stuff is looking pretty good. I ended up uh, painting these valve covers with a little bit of clear and they look pretty good. We might rock them. The distributors on and a lot of little knickknacks like that. But uh, enough about that. Let's get to this cold case radiator and uh, and see how this goes. So first off guys, this thing is very sharp. It's neat for sure. Um, well here are the electric fans. So first things first, we have to assemble this thing. Let's see here, this thing goes here. Just like that. We're gonna have to make holes and actually assemble it. Which, that kind of sucks guys. For as much as this thing costs, I would think that it will come fully assembled, but hey, that's the name of the game. Um, they did give us little pilot holes here. So we could use that as a reference. Um, you can use screws like this, or you can use rivets. I decided to go with the rivets. Um, you will need a rivet gun for this installation if you plan on doing rivets. So, so yeah, and on the first step they tell you to do is install the electric fans. So let's go ahead and do that. It's pretty sweet that everything says cold case. See? Cold case, cold case, cold case. Even inside a spray can, but you won't be able to see that. to the nerve-breaking part of this whole installation drilling the radiator as you guys can see here they gave us little pilot holes where they want us to drill um, but it's actually onto the radiator so we need to make sure that we don't drill too far and damage the radiator so I got my drill bit here it's a 316 I put some tape just to kind of stop it so that's the game plan The first hole was successful. Um, my little makeshift uh, stopper here worked out, so it was nerve wracking though.
Okay, and just like that, our cold case radiator is assembled. Looks pretty good. Like I said, I decided to go with the rivets. Uh, my rivet gun, it's a little, it's a little fat here, so it did give me a little bit of trouble getting in there. But you know what? It's on good enough. So, looks pretty good. I like it. Um, I did use these uh, polyurethane uh, uh, radiator bushings. So, they're pretty neat. And uh, like that, it doesn't mess up the radiator just sitting metal to metal, right? So, uh, let's install this bad boy and just make sure it fits pretty good. Okay guys, well, came out pretty good I think. It looks pretty, pretty good. As you guys can see here, it looks pretty sharp. Um, I did struggle a little bit with this cover up here. Um, it is a reproduction piece, so um, it might not be 100% to spec because it seems to be a little bit too short. So I had to grab the, the bushings a little bit on the edge here. That's why they're a little moved right there. But it got enough bite to where it doesn't move. And it's on there pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with it. It looks super nice. It's like, a, you know, it still has that vintage, that old raw muscle car look with a little bit of a modern um, technology on it, right? It's pretty rad. And as you guys saw, we uh, put a little bit of clear coat on these. So they're a little patina. It looks sharp. I love it, guys. I love it. It's coming out really nice. It's coming together now. Um, today's video is only going to be the assembly of the cold case radiator. Unfortunately, I don't have um, the time and the patience today to tackle any of the wiring, the relays for the electric fans, and we're simply just not ready yet. As you guys can see, there's wires everywhere, and there's a lot more work to do. So uh, we'll tackle that another day. But hey, if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned because that video is coming soon where we wire the electric fans. Today was just the assembly of the cold case radiator. And uh, thanks again guys for hanging out with me in the garage today and we'll see you next time.